Hey, welcome or welcome back to 4F Beauty. When will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. Probably never. However, what I do know is that this stunning eye look was created with this Kaleidos of Futurism 3 Astro Pink palette. So, if you want to find out exactly how well this little girl performed, you're in exactly the right place. Grab a drink, grab a snack, put your feet up and enjoy. Hey, welcome back from the intro. I will have shown you this in the intro, but not the inside of it yet. This is the Kaleidos Futurism 3 Astro Pink. Now, when I originally, when I first saw these, because there's a set of three, initially I absolutely fell in love with the yellow and green one. But, I've got my Hasina palette, I've got my, my Paulina palette, both of those are from Blush Tribe. I've got the green... Just My Luck palette from Colourpop. I've got the Smoke Sessions palette from Melt. Um, I've now got Juvia's Tribe palette. And I've got Ace Beauté's Flare palette. So I've got all of the colours um, that are in that one. So I decided to pick up this one instead. And it looks like... This. I've actually stuck the names onto the mirror, but this is what it looks like. Isn't it beautiful? This this silver one has like a pinky shift to it, so that's awesome. I have done some swatches. I'm going to bung the swatches up on screen for you. I think I've just dug my thumb straight into the black. Well done, bomber. Right, I'm going to stick some swatches up on screen for you, uh, so you can have a look at them as I zoom you in. They are Cosmos, Neptune, Nebula, Light Year, Stardust, and Luna. Hello, oh, I'm not quite centred am I? Hello. Right, this is a teaching channel. So, my chronic pain makes me blend quite slow anyway, but because it's a teaching channel, I talk through every single step so even complete beginners can follow. If that means I'm going too slow for you, please use the speed widget and speed me up. Alright, I won't be upset about that. To be honest, I ain't even going to know that you're doing it. Now, I've got what are known as deep set or double lidded eyes which means um, a lot of my eye folds back in so I get very similar issues that people with hooded lids have and in fact a lot of people that have got deep set eyes mistakenly think they have hooded lids now when I look straight ahead with my brows relaxed you can see all of my mobile lid so I don't have hooded lids it's only if your upper lid, your static lid completely covers part or all of your mobile lid right down to the lash line that you have hooded lids but where I have deep set eyes I have the same issues that hooded lids get in that I get transference of shimmer onto the upper lid uh, when I'm cutting my crease I have to cut it up onto the lid rather than just beyond the socket and even when I'm using glitter glues I always end up with a bare patch of glitter in the middle let me show you why if I cover the visible part of my mobile lid here and then close my eye, you can see I've got as much lid again that folds back in. And then if I cover my static lid and close my eye, you can see the same again. I've got lid here which folds back in. So that's why I have the same issues that hooded lids have and that's why my tutorials are all hooded lid friendly. Now. If you have got hooded lids, 
really easy way to follow any tutorial get a brush like this and just mark out on your static lid where you want your crease to be you're therefore creating your own mobile lid okay yes it's going to reduce the space between your crease and your brow but just use smaller brushes than I do and uh, you'll be absolutely fine right my face is washed, moisturised, SPF'd and primed. The fan is on because I am bloody melting in my kitchen. And I am going to go in with my Royal & Langnickel Chic Pro Crease Brush. And I'm going to start off by going into... I'm going to go into Cosmos, which is the lightest shade. Not a lot of kick up in pan. Uh, all I've got on my lids at the moment is MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, which I've not set, but it's been on here for quite a while, and uh, with the fan on as well, it's not sticky anymore, that's why I can sort of almost start blending straight away, whereas normally I'd have to tap the pigment on them and start to blend. So I'm blending this through the crease and then taking it up the eye in circular motions when you're going towards the nose you circle towards the nose and when you come back change the direction and you circle backwards I normally leave four or five mils from the lowest part of my brow yes we have a visitor not welcome, not invited and if it stays more than three days it can start paying rent Um, there really is very little kick up in this pan at all, uh, which is great because I'm not getting any noticeable fallout. My lids are slightly stained from a previous look that I've done. Um, but these things happen if you're going to use bright colours on your lids. That's why some eyeshadows are marked as not safe for immediate eye area partly because if you've got very sensitive skin it might irritate your skin but mainly because it will stain your eyelids but if it really worries you that much then use a eyelid primer that's got coverage to it or just use a concealer to blank the colour out right okay so that's that's blended really nicely but then browns are the easiest colour to create so I'd be surprised if this didn't do well. Right, I'm going to go into Neptune, which is the other brown, and deepen it up a little bit. So I'm going to sweep through the crease like I did before. So you follow your crease if you've had to move it up. And I'm going to... this deeper shade but I'm not going to go up the eye I'm just keeping it close to this crease line here just to add a bit of depth hmm. I mean you could easily use this as an everyday palette you could just you know bung the lighter shade all over deepen up through the crease with this one you know, a bit of mascara and out the door like, you know. But I want to see exactly how all the colours are going to play. And we'll find out as soon as I finish applying this. It really is a lovely colour scheme this palette. For a, you know, for a six pan palette it's, there's a lot of, um, it, it gives me a lot of inspiration, there's a lot of looks that I want to try with this palette even though it is only a six pan palette. Um, sometimes smaller palettes are nicer to use because you have fewer options. So if you're running low on time in the morning, if you're faced with a palette with 60 shades in it, you're going to be, I don't know what to choose. Right. 
I'm going to go in with another Royal and Langnickel Chic Pro. This is their eyeshadow brush, which is rather than being round like the crease brush, it's oval as you can see. And I'm going to go into Light Year, which is the burgundy. A little bit more of a kick up on this one. And I'm going to run this through the crease. Oh, this is a really nice black currenty colour. Oh, I like this a lot. And I'm not going to add any more pigment. I'm just going to blend that red out a little bit. And add a little bit of pigment in the corner here, just on the outer edge of the lid, to just add a bit of depth. And again, just lightly buffing that shade. I do struggle here and here with getting colour to stay put. So if you have something similar, just tap the pigment on and tap to blend rather than circular movements. And you can see that dealt with the issue brilliantly. These shadows are applying so nicely. They're just, they're so buttery soft and yet there's not a huge amount of kick up in pan. I'm not noticing much, if any, fallout. And they're blending without needing to do too much work, which on a day when I'm in pain and I'm hot and bothered, that's, this is, this is definitely going to be one of the the palettes that if I need to put makeup on but I know I'm in a lot of pain and I need the makeup to go on and look good straight away and not need to sit here and you know blend for half an hour this is definitely going to be one of the, one of the palettes that I'm going to pick up this really does work lovely so far. I really like that. It's weird, this bit here is looking a little bit patchy in the mirror, but in the viewfinder rather, but in my mirror it looks absolutely fine. But then you do get that sometimes, I think it's the way that the light reflects in through the, um, through the lens. I don't understand it myself to be quite honest, but so long as it's not blocked you in real life, that's all I'm really worrying about. Right, I'm just cleaning this brush off on a clean washcloth. And then I'm going to grab a Royal and Langlical Chic Pro. This is actually their spot concealer brush, but it is great for applying shimmers to the lid. So I'm going to go into Nebula. Just grab a brush, a, a little mirror so I can see a bit more close up what I'm doing. This is such a pretty shade. I was going to add some blue but I like this so much I think I'm going to take it all the way across. And I'll use blue next time I do a look with this palette. I mean, do you see how beautifully that went on and just covered the cranberry or black currenty shade without any problem at all? Which is a real, I like to do this the first time I use a palette because I like to see how much opacity the shimmers have. Because you can get some shimmers, you swatch them and they look great, 
and then when you try them on your eye they have more of a a clear base and a like a glitter pigment to them so they don't cover what's on the lid very well so that's when you have to go in with either cleaning the lid off with a q-tip and some micellar water or you know cut your crease but you could see that just absolutely no problem at all that just went on and covered and it's such a pretty colour right I'm going to pause you while I do my foundation and everything and I will be back to continue this eye look with you I am back right I'm grabbing a flat topped brush don't you love it when you suddenly spot an eye booger once you started filming couldn't spot that while I was putting the powder on and everything could I no of course not as yeah I could pause it but you know I'm human it happens it happens right I'm going to dip into light year I'm going to run this tight under the bottom lashes now because my fibro is really bad at the moment and my eyes are streaming because that's one of the symptoms that I get plus the pollen is ridiculously high today where I am I haven't been able to wear eyeliner for quite a while because my even the waterproof one my eyes just stream too much um, and it all ends up just wrecking my look basically but I have found a way to get the similar effect of giving you the cat eye look as if I'd still got my winged liner so I use the same colour through the crease as under the eye and then I just get very very deep and just pack it on just on the very edge there so it's, it's almost imperceptible until you get up close that you've got a slightly darker like, edge to it and it just it gives you that same effect of, of sort of lifting and elongating the eyes out it's an absolute fab tip if you're struggling like me at the moment with wearing liner right and I'm going to go in with my this is my um, this is the brush out of the Tarte Graveyard Girl palette but I love it because it's flat topped but it's chunky so it's really great for getting under your bottom lashes and I'm going to go into Neptune and just use that just to smudge and soften that colour under the eye there Right. Now this is a really cheap lip brush that I bought off of eBay, good lord, probably 10 years ago now. And I'm going to go into the Jeffrey Platinum Ice Palette. And I'm going to go into Ice Cold to tuck up under the brow here. and to use on the inner corner now I like to carry my inner corner highlight down under my tear duct and just sort of meld it in to the colours that I've run under the eye for my eye I find that's the most flattering shape but uh, you don't have to do that if it doesn't suit your eye look and what I'm going to do for the rest of my face I'm actually going to use the pink chill highlighter which Jeffrey described as um, an eye sh uh, a, a highlight topper was the way he described it but um, I managed to get a really good shine out of it I don't know why he calls it a topper it um, 
it's, you know, I, I still get the sort of shine that I'm looking for. Um, I go in with my Zoeva 105 Lux highlighting brush with it if you're wondering and if you're struggling to get uh, a nice result from it yourself. So I'm going to pause you while I uh, throw highlighter all over my face, put some lipstick on, put some mascara on, and do something with my hair, and I'll be right back. I am back. Checking there's no lipstick on my teeth. Right. Um, I use my usual Catrice Glam and Doll waterproof mascara, volume mascara, which is the dupe for the Bad Gal Bang, uh, but it's waterproof and it's cheaper. And the Lippy is one of the new Maybelline. Um, they, they, re they released six different shades that they've tested on everybody from uh, paler than me right the way through to sort of Nima Tang colour. Um, this one is 373 Mauve for me, which I mean, like these are so comfortable. These are these are some of the most comfortable lipsticks I've ever worn. I have to be honest. I've got I've got the mauve for me and I've got the pink for me. Um, the other four shades are colours that if I was going to wear something that bright or that dark, I would use a liquid lipstick. Um, but in the summer, I'm tending to wear bullet lipsticks during the day and then liquid lipsticks if I'm going out at night and I need my lippy to stay on so I cut my fringe clipped back because it's just so hot I didn't want to melt but I still want you to be able to see the look as you can see uh, you know pink chill for me gives me the kind of glow that I like so I think it is all about the kind of brush that you use um, a lot of the ones in the Platinum Ice palette are the formula that can go quite hard pan. Uh, the tip with that for me is just get a clean old spoolie and just rough the top surface up. You can then use what you've roughed up on your cheeks and your highlight and then it, it's cleared the hard pan for the next time you go to use it. So that is my tip to you. But. We're not talking about highlight, we're talking about this Kaleidos palette. What do I think of it? I've used four of the six shades today and I really, really like them. Um, very little kick up in pan, negligible fallout, um, so easy to blend. They were, they were so buttery, they just they almost blended themselves. Well, you saw, you saw how easy it was for me to blend them together. Um, and the shimmer has got the kind of opacity that I like to see in a shimmer. So that if I don't want to have to faff about doing a cut crease, I don't have to. Um, so yeah, certainly this particular variety um, or variant of their um, Futurism 3 palettes that they did, the uh, the Astro Pink one, from what I've seen so far I can definitely recommend it. Obviously I've not tried the blue and the black yet but I will be doing a look for you with them uh, before too long because I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed using this and uh, yeah I would imagine that, I mean there's, there's no reason to believe that the other two palettes in the set are any different quality. Uh, but obviously I can't vouch for that because I have only tried that one. Right. I hope you enjoyed this. I um, hope you found it fun and a little bit informative. Now, even if I'm appearing in your news feed, there is still a very good chance you've been unsubscribed. So please do double check because YouTube are still unsubscribing people at a rate of knots. I had to read to subscribe to um, Andrea Milano. Uh, Seeking Alexandria and Yuki this week and I watched all of their films and I've liked all of their films and I've usually commented on most of their films as well and yet I still got unsubscribed from them so I know it's definitely happening still uh, but yeah obviously I've got a lot of other films that you can watch if you want to have a peruse through and see what else I've got that might pique your interest but, but for now, all that remains for me to say
as ever, is your stay fabulous, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.